Hello and welcome to another video where today we're going to be making the Tower of Hanoi game. This is a really simple game and it is used quite often to teach recursion and this is an algorithm to solve it. So I'll be writing this in C right now but I have also released a video in Python or will be releasing a video in Python doing the same and that will be in the description. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is include studio.h. Doesn't really matter the Python project, you always do that. Next we're going to make four variables, int number of rings, char start is equal to a, char end is equal to c, and char temp is equal to b. And number of rings, 5. And if we go to our picture again, you can see we've got our three pillars, so our start, our end, and our temp pillar, and we've got five rings. Next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a void function. What void means is it won't return an output. And this is a function that won't be returning anything, so we will use void. Inside this function, it will take in int number of rings. It will take in char start, char end, and then char temp. And then we're going to open ourselves some curly brackets. So the next thing we're going to do is we we'll want to make an if statement. And this if statement will check if there's one ring left on our pillar. Because if there's one ring left on our starting pillar, it means it needs to get moved to end. And that means we'll be done. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to do an if statement. Open our brackets. And this will be if number of rings or in our case number of disks is equal equal to 1 we're going to want to open ourselves up another set of curly brackets and we're going to be writing ourselves a lovely printf statement here so printf open up some cur open up some brackets speech marks move disk percent %d from percent c to percent c backslash n speech mark comma number of disks comma start comma end close our curly brackets put a semicolon at the end new line return semicolon so time to explain so if we've got one disk, it means we're going to be moving it from our starting pillar to our ending pillar, and then we're going to be breaking out of this iteration of the function. Remember, it's recursive, it can have multiple functions running. Our printf statement moves it from, moves, shows the number of the disk is, and the, what pillar it moves starting from, and what pillar it's going to. Our next line will be the same again, where it will be calling ourselves Tower of Hanoi. And we're going to be put inputting number of disks minus one. So we're moving a disk, meaning it will no longer be on that pillar. It will be moving from start to our end. So we're going to do start dash temp dash end. So we need to keep track of the order of all of our disks. Semicolon. And then we can just copy and paste this same print statement from earlier because it is the same. But now all we've done is move things from the starting pillar to our end pillar. Things will also get put on our temp pillar or get put onto our temp pillar. So now we're going to have to deal with that. The way we do this is we do Tower of Hanoi. We're going to open up ourselves a set of curly brackets. Do number of disks, minus one. And then we're going to do temp, because that's where we're moving it from. Dash end dash start, close curly brackets, and put a semicolon. Now this is our algorithm done. If I went to GCC and then tried to build Tower of Noi, it wouldn't build because we've got no main function. And we've also not called our function. So the way we do this is we create ourselves another function called void main, open and close up some brackets, open some semicolons, semi brackets, curly brackets, that's it. Tower of Hanoi, and then we're going to just feed in our data. So, number of disks we're in, start, end, and then temp. 
let's put ourselves a semicolon at the end. And let's do a quick explanation. So we're going to call our function. We're going to say the amount of disks we have, where they're starting, where they're going, and the first move that it's going to. If we've only got one, li one disk left, we break that iteration of the function. If not, we start a new iteration, and we're moving it from our start function to our end function. Even though it says end, it doesn't always mean it is. And this might get confusing, but it will we'll be always referring to our previous version. So, and then we're also going to create a new version where we're moving it from our temp to our start. Which sounds weirdly confusing, but it will make sense when this is run. So we're going to do gcc tower of hanoi.c. And then if you are on Windows, this will be, you can just do a.exe. I am on Linux, so this will be a.out. And as you can see, it will say where it's moved the disk from, what number disk, from pillar A to pillar C, etc, etc. So thank you so much for watching this C, C tutorial. There will be a link in the description to the code and the Python tutorial. Have a good day. See ya.